I am in Texarkana. Right here, this yellow line is the state line, and that post office straddles the two states. I am in Texas side right now. I started on the Arkansas side, which is over there. So, yeah, as I said earlier, this road straddles the state lines. It begins here, goes quite a few miles that way. But it uh, begins here in downtown. So I'm gonna take a look here in downtown Texarkana. It is uh, Saturday morning, 11 a.m. And boy, it is dead. There is uh, not much here. And a lot of buildings in very poor shape. This one has most of its glass broken out. It was a grand old building once, you can tell. But it is not now. Before I can start heading up in that direction. See what's over here. Yeah, this grand old building is a not in good shape. So we're looking into Texas here. And in this direction is Arkansas. I saw a little artwork over here, so I'm gonna make a quick walk about a block this way. Taking a look around. A lot of decay, isn't there? Buildings over here have glass broken out. Texarkana has definitely seen better days. Dr. Pepper. Now I am still on the Arkansas side. I'm surprised that Dr. Pepper is not on the Texas side because Dr. Pepper is a Texas creation. Now this is a hotel apartment complex. It looks like it's under construction. And there's a look up the street again, the post office. But look what it's around. The buildings that are around it. building I was at earlier a lot of the glass is broken out yeah it's pretty dismal over here they need a hotel downtown there isn't one we are actually staying on the outer part of the city uh, off I-30 which is actually nice it looks like uh, any suburban city with all new businesses and houses um, but for me, downtown should always be the heart and soul of any city, the pulse of it. And uh, if it's not, there's something wrong. And uh, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I don't. This just does not look good. I'm surprised that Texarkana looks like this. And it is just so slow. Looks like this is going to be a nice building when it's finished. The courthouse is over here. I'm going to take a look at it. Pine Street Antiques. What's left of this line? 
Huh. Wow. Like I said, it's uh, a little after 11 on a Saturday. This is downtown Texarkana. It's a pretty nice mural here. This building here is on the National Register. We'll take a look at it. Yeah, this is the Perot Theater. Also the Sanger Theater. Built in the early 1900s. It's closed right now, but it is on the National Register. Oh yeah, cool. Got some crazy homeless guy stalking me. <laughs> There's nothing going on in here. Liston's Key Shop. Yeah, this is just a facade. If you look behind here. It's just open. The building's not even standing anymore. That's the courthouse over there, I believe. I'm gonna make my way there. The only people I've encountered down here are homeless. <laughs> it's got another one over there behind me. Doing my best to dodge them. I'm a couple blocks in on the uh, Texas side now. Wow. Shuttered buildings everywhere. The sun is uh, in the wrong position. I hope you can see these buildings. Most of them just setting empty. Hmm. A little info on the city. The Texas side of Texarkana has about uh, 36,000 people. Arkansas side has just shy of 30,000. Together there is almost 66,000 people in Texarkana. Metro is 150,000. Of course, uh, anybody who's watched Smoking the Bandit knows that the movie begins in Texarkana. That's how I heard of it. I had no idea there was such a place till I saw Smokey and the Bandit. And of course in the movie they load up the contraband Coors Light here in Texarkana. And then Smokey and the Snowman bootleg it to Georgia. It's a great movie. One of my favorite of all time. Alright, Texarkana City Hall. It's supposed to be a, be a building of some significance. Well, there it is. Wow, so quiet. Eleven thirty, about eleven thirty now, on a Saturday morning. And if anybody says, "Well, it's dead because it's Saturday," no. A healthy downtown has all its people there on a Saturday. Yeah, this is. Um, Wow. Really dead here. That is a fascinating old building. Uh, I'm standing on the Arkansas side of the uh, road, but that is in Texas. 
That's the uh, Texas Arkansas state line, the yellow line there. That is a fascinating looking building that sadly is in complete decay and it shouldn't be. That's some really interesting architecture. I'm almost up to this uh, post office. Get over there and take a look. Texarkana, Texas Entertainment District. Right there, you're looking at it. It's like the post apocalypse, isn't it? <laughs> I keep expecting some zombies to jump out of some of these doors. You know, if you're a filmmaker, this would be a great place to film that kind of movie. No need to build sets. It already looks like that here. And traffic would be easy, because there's not any. Man. All right, well, get on up to this post office. Okay, I'm at the post office. It straddles the state line. See, I'm standing in Texas right now. And this is Arkansas. This sign's one of the landmarks, you see it a lot on Instagram and Facebook etc and this is downtown the view from the uh, front of the building let's take a slow pan and let you look I really haven't looked at the Arkansas side too much yet so this way let's go take a look the Arkansas side is not faring much better I checked out some of the numbers for the city on the Texas side the poverty rate is 21.9 percent the national average is 11.4 so that's pretty high the Arkansas side the uh, poverty level uh, poverty levels a little higher or a little lower 21.0 uh, median income is real low. Both cities, it's around 46,000 per household. U.S. average is just shy of 65,000. So they're making about half the money here that the rest of the country does. And the per capita is 24.9 versus a U.S. average of 35.4. So it's not a well-off city. And this is everywhere here. Again, it's after 11 now. Virtually devoid of people. Just come right out in the middle of the street. Can look straight into Texas. That tallest building, middle frame now, that is in Texas. It's something. I just want to take a look at this artwork on this building. It's pretty awesome. Postcards from our past, established 1873. Greetings from Texarkana. I wonder if this uh, paint, this mural is that old, late 1800s. It's old anyway, no matter how you look at it. Yeah, that's the kind of thing you never wanna 
paint over. Something, isn't it? I am in downtown Texarkana. Texas side now. I'm not talking much because I'm just kind of speechless. <laughs> wow. All right, I've seen enough downtown. Uh, I'm going to get into the Bronco and explore some of the neighborhoods immediately surrounding downtown on both sides, Texas and Arkansas. All right, I'm heading up the uh, state line now. I'm on the uh, Arkansas side, so I'm going to go around this building, the post office, and uh, take a look at a uh, couple of Arkansas neighborhoods first. So we'll be heading right, go down like a little farther. See what we can find here. All right, I'm about a block off. See what's down here. We got some really nice houses here. This is a really old neighborhood. Yeah, that's a beauty. That one's nice too. Looks like it's being uh, built or refurbished. There's some really large homes here that are abandoned. Look at that, look how big this house is. Just sitting here empty. Another one across the street. It's like a mini Detroit. Look at that house with the pillars. That was a beauty one day. Or at one time, it just sits here empty now. It's another one here. That's just plain crazy. That was a really nice property at one time. It's got a separate garage with an apartment above it. Wow. Still on the Arkansas side. Just wanted to take a little peek over here. I'm actually uh, back up to State Line Road. It is right here. So uh, let's go take a look at the uh, Texas side. See what's going on over there. I'm going to head down state line. Get your bearings where we're at. Now straight down the road is that post office. So the left is uh, Arkansas. The right is Texas. So let's go see what's over here on the Texas side.
Well, it's safe to say there's no HOAs here. I'm not really saying that as a joke. Pretty good sized abandoned buildings here. That's ah, amazing. Wonder what that was. School, maybe? The set's empty now. I'm back in the downtown area about a block out yeah the whole area just looks pretty bad Is the post office the straddles the state lines. All right, I am back in downtown. I want to end the video here. Uh, like I said, we are staying out on I 30 on the outside of town, and it's real nice there. But uh, a downtown should never look like this. Just shouldn't. So anyway, um, we are going to head back to Dallas for a few days. Check on our kids. And then we are going to head out west. So be looking for those videos.